today I continue with my obsession with Game Fix, War Game Magazine. Well, not so much of a, an, an obsession as a uh, collection. I picked up several of these in a bargain buy and uh, I've been saving them on the shelf until uh, I decided to dedicate a week to going through what I had found. So this is Game Fix Magazine. Uh, the Forum of Ideas is their tagline. And it was a war game magazine uh, that was uh, originally published in 1994, uh, went into 1995. As you can see here, this is issue six, April 1995. And I'm not sure if it made it all the way into 96. It may have, but I don't think it went much beyond that. But I could be wrong. And I know that there are several out there that are ready to uh, correct me. Uh, this, again, was a typical Wargame magazine in that it had articles on history, articles on Wargaming, uh, and had a actual complete game included, as it says right here on the cover, complete game included. And the complete game included in this issue was Redline Korea, Potential Conflict in Korea, and it was designed by Joe Miranda. And Joe Miranda is no stranger to Game Fix and is no stranger to Wargame magazines. Um, I have... Uh, obtained and played and unbagged and uh, what have you, uh, several Joe Miranda games over the years, especially a lot of magazine uh, war games. So uh, with that, let's get into this bag and see what we get inside. So, and if any of you ever know anything more about Game Fix or its history or how it, where it went or how it ended up, uh, feel free to share. You know, it's always good to share, just be civil. Turn to the front here. We have an article for, or an ad for Rebel Yell. I think this was, this is another of uh, Game Publications Group, which is the publisher of Game Fix. This is uh, one of their games. Uh, might be their only game, box game, maybe, that came out. I'm not familiar with this, but I've seen it, it, there's an ad for it in every Game Fix, uh, and I've, I've seen it on uh, Board Game Geek, but I've not seen it in, uh, in person. You have your typical uh, game departments or features for the magazine, editorial, the fix you're in, battle briefs. Those three are, I think, are common for several issues of Game Fix. You have Redline Korea, which is going to be a background on the uh, – uh, give you some context for the game that's included. Then you actually have the game, so this will be the rules. Designer notes, those are from Joe Miranda, who is the designer of this. Uh, behind the Lines, uh, which is probably going to be an interview with uh, David Nicholas, uh, Industry News, and the Armchair Gamer. The Armchair Gamer and Industry News are, are common departments or, or typical departments for Game Fix magazine as well. Then we have the editorial, the fixture in, Game Designs Wanted. Oh, this, uh, their pub this publication was looking for some game designs. This is 1995. I think... I may be too late. All right, here's your battle briefs. And these are typical, you know, historical articles. Um, this one's Dill Marine Recon, AC-130, Spectre, uh, Spectre Gunship, The River of Death, The Battle of Mundi, and, and, Amer and, and an ancient scenario. So quite a few things in here. Oh, here's a scenario for Ancients. Oh, and this Ancients was in the... Um, that might have been in the first issue of Game Fix. So use this rules for that uh, for Thapsos and the counters provided in Game Fix number one. So yeah, so here's a scenario you can use for uh, for um, an additional scenario that you can use for uh, Thapsos, which came in Game uh, Game Fix number one. And there was two scenarios. There was uh, with Thapsos and which was like a land battle, and then Alexandria which was naval and land, I believe, but, but, but focused on the, the naval rules, I believe. Anyway, so a little bit extra there if you're a collector of Game Fix games. Easy for you to say. All right, here's Redline Korea. So this is talking about the situation. Uh, this is, again, hypothetical. This is 95, uh, a 95 view of, of this conflict here, or potential conflict, I should say. So this will go into... Both my modern combat playlist, but also alt history or alt hist playlist if you're looking for similarly situated uh, games. Then we have the rules themselves. And uh, an interesting thing I note here on these rules of uh, the, the color, they took out the color and went to a grayscale. So I wonder if they were, 
or if that was intentional or if there was some budget cuts at Game Fix because uh, in the previous issue, they had this th similar format where you have the rules and then you have an annotation. And the annotation was always color, you know, full color, showing the counters or examples of play and what have you. So here's your rules, here's sequence of play. Oh, uh, here we got some color here. A little bit of color popping up. Uh Here's the rules. Here's your annotation. This is giving you unit identification and nationality. Here's movement. Here's a movement example. Here's a zone of control example. And what's a hex war game without a zone of control? Here's air mobile movement, amphibious movement. Here's combat. And here's a, a combat example. And now we're back to color. So they solved their budget cuts from that first page. And here are scenario options, because this, this is meant to be pulled out because on the other side of this is the map. So here is your map. Here's the counter sheet. We can take a look at that real quick there. So, you know, not, this is 1995, so, I mean, don't expect too much excitement there. These are kind of standard fare. Double-sided. Oh, that's kind of a cool graphic on there. There's a helicopter. It's got unlimited or the infinity symbol. Maybe that, uh, I don't know what that is. Um, so there's your counters. You know, typical thickness and quality of uh, magazine game of that time frame. Actually, probably typical of box games of that time frame <laughs> for certain publishers. Um, and here's the map of uh, Korea. You have your mobile chart, your probe chart, your assault chart, and your command air defense on here. So one thing that's different in this, uh, by 95, the earlier game fixes, all your charts were on separate, or just on pages within the magazine, you know, attended to the rules. These Now they're starting, it looks like they're putting some charts on the maps themselves. But again, the maps aren't that big. I mean, you're looking at two pages of a magazine is your entire map here. Uh, interesting color choice. I mean, the red line Korea with this pinkish or light red uh, color for the terrain is uh, is interesting. So we have some other chart. We have air interdiction. You need to have that for a modern game and air superiority. Then we have ground attack over here. Sorry for flipping around, but that's how they set it up. And then you have your turn record track, which they use just hexes out of the uh, Sea of Japan. So that's kind of cool. So there you have it. I mean, there's a little bit more detail on this map than some of the previous uh, Game Fix maps that I've seen. There's Seoul. Here's Inchon uh, from the original Korea, uh, Korean War. But uh, don't who knows if it's going to be uh, have the same effect here. You have Pusan here. So there you have it. That is your map. Then we continue on with some rules. And this is ancient scenario. This is E. So this is interesting. Uh, in previous uh, previous uh, game fixes, uh, they had these ancient maps. And uh, I don't know if they were tied to other scenarios that come out or not. Because like I said, that there's a scenario that comes in here, but it says use the Thapsos map. Maybe use the Thapsos rules, maybe use this map. I need to read up on that much, but there's at least, this is the third that I've seen, and I don't have all the copies of Game Fix, but the, uh, of the ones I have, this is the third Ancients map I've seen, so I imagine they all tie to the rules that are in the Ancients uh, rules and games that came in Game Fix 1, but they just have separate maps, and I don't know what scenarios are tied to them, so I have some homework to do. More uh, rules for Redline Korea, and then you have communist objective chart, UN objective chart, victory level. So you have some charts inside the rules as well. You can't get away from that. More rules, breakthrough, logistics, um, supply, regular supply lines. Here's a supply example. Here's reduced units and recovery. And here's a recovery example, oper air operations example, and scenarios, options, and victory here. Awesome. Uh, more rules and uh, some more scenarios and options and victory. And then you have some holding boxes for the game. Uh, UN air operations, available ground attack, interdiction, 
air superiority, close air support and reserve. Here's your train effects chart. And that pink was uh, rough. That's rough. Here's your communist status track. So you're going to have to make a copy of this uh, and keep this off to the side. And again, magazine games are notorious for not having player aids because, I mean, you usually have a magazine and you sometimes have a separate rule, sometimes a separate map, and sometimes you have maps that are stapled inside. Uh, and then the only thing that's really separate is a counter sheet. So um, the player aids were usually contained within the rules or within the magazine, and that that, that is the case here as well. Then you get to the designer notes. This is uh, Joe Miranda's designer notes on how he, what he was thinking. What was he thinking when he made this game? Here's behind the lines. This is an interview with David W. Nichols, who is currently the editor of Fire and Movement magazine. So for those of you who followed the Fire and Movement magazine, you might be interested in that interview. Here's industry news. And here's the Armchair Gamer, which is a regular segment, which... Usually covers a lot of different type stuff. This one looks like it's covering Keith uh, Poulter's Barbarians. Whew. Which I think I have. I think I have that. Uh, I think I have that game. That that uh, I have a game called Barbarians that uh, dealt with uh, several scenarios, but it, it, I know it had... Uh, Tutenberg Wald uh, scenario is one of the reasons I picked it up. So I think this is the same game. So I'll, I'll I will need to read this because I have I have that game. Um, and this is the first time I've seen this. Sacramento Consortium presents collectible games at affordable prices. So add a little bit of an ad space there for uh, some collectible games. Interesting. And then uh, Aid to Camp, they usually have an ad for this. Uh, I think uh, HPS Simulations paid them some money to have uh, to uh, tout their uh, computer games on here. So there you have it. That is Game Fix uh, issue number six, uh, which includes Joe Miranda's Redline Korea. That is what you get in the uh, in in a well. I, it was in a bag. Came to me. I don't know if it comes in a bag normally, but that's what you get with this game uh, magazine, war game magazine. Uh, love to know your thoughts on this. If you've played Redline Korea, what do you think about that? How does it compare to Next War and some of the other Korean simulations or the future looking uh, or near future looking Korean simulations? Love to know your thoughts on that. Love to know your thoughts on Game Fix. If you know the history of Game Fix and where how it came into being and where it went, love to know your thoughts on that as well. Please share. We like that. I like that. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and uh, take care. Thanks for watching!